back again for another National Electrical Code um, our, uh, video here. And this is, today's video is going to be our first one on Article 220, which is basically service calculations. And the reason it's the first one is because I'm, I think it's going to be easier if I break it down into smaller sections for you guys. Uh, and, that, and that way um, it, it doesn't become so uh, overpowering, I guess, in one. There's just a lot of uh, information, a lot of math and stuff we got to have to do. And so plus with my limited board space here, um, it'll make it a little bit easier on us as well. Okay, so you can go ahead and open your code books to Article 220 and we can get started. So we're going to start with a joke, of course. So there's this big game hunter, takes his wife and his mother-in-law on a safari. Okay, which, bad idea. Anyhow, in the middle of the night, um, the wife wakes up and realizes that her mother-in-law is gone. So she wakes the husband up and, and says, we need to go find him. And so the husband grabs a swig of uh, his whiskey, grabs a shotgun, and they head out. And they look around and look around. Daybreak comes and they finally find her trapped with her back to a huge rock and a large lion is facing her. The wife freaks out and says, Honey, what are we going to do? To which the husband replies, Nothing. That lion got himself in this mess. He can get himself out. Okay, that's your joke for today. Alright, so... First thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk on this video, we're going to talk mainly on um, square feet and general lighting load calculations with small appliance branch circuits and laundry branch circuits. Okay, uh, And there is a little bit of a change in this code book from the last code book, so if you're used to the last code book, um, just pay, I guess pay attention to this change. Now originally, if you're in your code book, um, your square feet for your um, your dwelling unit was in table 220.12, the general lighting load, um, but now it's been changed to general lighting load by non-dwelling occupancy, okay, so it doesn't have the dwelling units in it. So, and that kind of threw me for a loop when I first looked at this after the new code came out this year, um, but if we look, what they did then is they went to um, article uh, 220.14J, so if you go ahead and turn to there, um, this tells us here that our, um, the, for the general lighting loads for one family, two family, multifamily dwellings, the minimum lo uh, unit load shall be not less than three volt amperes per foot squared. Okay. Now this lighting load, and let me write that up here, this lighting load counts for your just general lighting and general receptacles, uh, general receptacle loads. Okay. If there are specific, uh, loads for uh, specific appliances and stuff, those are all separate. Or different branch circuits as well, um, someone like our small appliance and our uh, laundry branch circuits. Okay, so first thing, okay, so three VAs per square foot. Now, that square foot is the complete outside uh, dimensions of the house, with some exceptions. Okay, if we look at Article 220.11, it says that. Um, what's the things that are not included are open porches, right? Uh, as well as uh, garages and then unused or unfinished spaces that we're that cannot be um, put into habitable rooms later, okay? Um, not adaptable for future use, I guess, is what it actually says. Um, and the reason we have to figure that we have to think that way is because um, we don't want them to adapt it later if it's possible to adapt it. And then our, our service calculation would have been wrong, okay? But if it's something that can't be adapted later, uh, a portion of the house that cannot be adapted for a uh, livable space later, then we don't have to count that, okay? So, uh, for instance here, let's say we have our square feet of our house is, let's say, 1,700 square feet, okay? Just throwing a number out there. Okay. We have 1,700 square feet, and of course we know length by length times width of, um, to get our square feet. Three VAs, take that times, three VAs per square feet, and we get 5,100 VAs. Okay, that is your general lighting load for your the square footage of your house, right? 
And of course, if you got a, a main floor basement, you have to count it all. Or if you have a, a second story, um, you have to count that as well, right? Now, one thing I do want to quickly mention is that if we are doing a service calculation for a different type of area, then we go to table uh, 220.12, your general lighting load, and then it will tell you all the different type of occupancy and your volt amp per square feet. And they did drop them a little bit this year. Um, basically, I think is what it is, is they, uh, they know that the different lighting um, requirements for the different areas uh, are coming down. Like you have to, you, you need to use less and you have to use more efficient stuff. And so it doesn't take quite as much. But regardless of that, um, you still need to, if you have a local energy code, you need to follow that too. So you need to check that as well before you uh, would use these. Okay, now, uh, turn to 220.52A, and if we look at 220.52A, 220.52 itself is small appliance and laundry loads for dwelling units. A says your small appliance circuit load, and it says basically in each dwelling unit, the load shall be calculated 150 uh, volt, amperes, volt amperes for each uh, two-wire small appliance branch circuit. Okay, now. We already know that the minimum small appliance branch circuit in a residential setting is going to be two, right? So we know it's not going to be less than two, okay? Um, we do know, though, we can put as many in as we want, technically, right? If we have the, have the space for it and the need for it, we can put more than, more in, but our minimum is always going to be two, right? And so we, for each one of those small appliance branch circuits, we need to figure 1,500 VAs, okay? So let's use the base number, which is two, Two, we have two small appliance branch circuits, and each one is 1,500 VAs. So take that times two, and we get 3,000. VAs, okay, volt amperes, which is basically equivalent of watts, right? So just for these two small appliance branch circuits, that's another 3,000 VAs towards our calculation, right? Now, let's go ahead and turn, or, or move down here to B, uh, 220.52B, where it says laundry, uh, or laundry circuit load, and again it says, a load of not less than 1,500 volt amperes shall be included for each two-wire laundry branch circuit installed, as covered by 211C2. Okay, so what that means is, um, that is taking care of our basically our, our washing machine, but our if we have, for every laundry branch circuit we have to have, that we have we have to add 1,500 VAs. Now we know that the minimum number of laundry branch circuits is one, right? Code says we must have at least one. But if we have more than one laundry room in the house, which occasionally have one upstairs, one downstairs, especially if you know if there's more, multiple families living in a single house, uh, then we have we, we have more than one, and we need to add another 1500 for each one of those, right? But we're gonna go ahead and say we have one laundry branch circuit. So it says we have to take those 1500 VAs each, just like our small appliance. So we take 1500 times our one uh, laundry branch circuit and we get 1500, right? Okay. Now, if we turn to uh, table 220.42, which is back a page or so. 220, table 220.42 says lighting um, load demand factors. Okay, and then it has your type of occupancy in this table. It says dwelling units, uh, hotels, motels, and then warehouse storages, and then all others. Okay. So we're, since we're in the residential section of this class and we are focused more on houses anyways on this, uh, we're going to stick with that dwelling units part. Now if you read that, it says under dwelling units, it says the first 3,000 um, VAs uh, add 100%. So the first 3,000 of our total VAs that we're going to add up here is going to be at 3,000%. Now one thing I did forget to mention, turn back real quick. So if you read on both uh, 220.52 A and B, it says at the bottom, it says these loads 
uh, shall be permitted to be included with a general lighting load um, and subjected to the manufacturers provided in table 220.52 or 220.42. Okay, and laundry branch circuit on B, um, it says the same thing, right? And what that is saying then, if we turn back now, is we can take and add all these up. And then we can do the reductions in table 220.42. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to do some erasing here. And so we have some room. Okay, so we have, and actually... I'm going to flip it over, we'll keep this up here, and we'll redo these numbers on the other side. Okay, so we had this. Okay, so. Uh, what we did, of course, we have 1,700 square feet times 3 VAs per square foot equals 5,100 VAs, right? Take that down here, and that's your first number. Oh, that's what I did wrong. One sec. Okay, that makes a little more sense. <laughs> Dyslexia, pop this back and forth. So I had the, the 1 and 5. Okay, so we take our 5,100 VAs down here. And then we took our two small appliance and our one laundry circuit. Since they're always 1,500, we can just add them up to get three. 1,500 VAs for each times our three gives us 4,500 total VAs for our small appliance loads and our laundry branch circuits. Okay? So then we take those and we go ahead and add them up because um, the 220.52 A and B says those small appliance and laundry can be added to the uh, general lighting load before we uh, do our reductions from table 220.42, okay? So now let's go back to table 220.42, our lighting load demand factors. For our dwelling unit, it says the first 3,000 is gonna be at 100%. So what does that mean? We're gonna subtract 3,000 out. Okay, so that gives us 6,600 VAs left over, right? The reason that we are we subtract out and we or we use 3,000 or 3,000 at 100% is because certain parts of the house are going to be used a lot, <clears throat> right? And some parts are going to be used minimally, and so that's why they allow us to take out that 3,000, and you, or they have they have us take out that 3,000 using 100% because some of it will be used at 100%. The rest is only gonna be used partially. And that's where this next part comes in on table 220.42. Um, it says, the second part there, it says from 3,001 to 120,000 is at 35%, right? And the next column after that then says, the remainder over, uh, over 120,000 is then at 25%. Now, very unlikely, most times that you're going to have over 120,000, um, but if you do, then it's there. The, the numbers are there, right? We're going to focus on the 3,001 to 220,000 at the 35%. So what that means then is that we take Good end of my math. Okay, that leaves us with 2,310 VAs at the 35%. Okay, we're not done yet though. Since we're getting low, I'm going to bring this up. Now, we're going to take and add our 3,000 we took out at 100% back in, we basically kept that 3,000 from this 35% calculation. And we're going to add this back in. Okay, so with that 3,000 added back in, we have 5,310 VAs 
for our general lighting load. Okay, this is one of a few steps here that we're going to do on our service calculations. Okay, so we take our total square feet, I'm going to run through it again, total square feet times 3 VAs per square foot. Right? Let me... So... Okay, so um, all this here <clears throat> is for our general lighting load. So this way to think about it, total square feet times 3 VAs, total small appliance circuits and laundry circuits times 1500 VA, or, times 1500 VAs. You're going to add your square feet calculation and your small appliance laundry circuit calculation together. Subtract 3000 uh, from that total. The remainder after that 3,000 is gone times 0.35. Then you take that total plus your 3,000 back in for your total VAs for your general lighting load. Okay, I hope this made sense. Okay, so this is just like I said, this is just a general lighting load uh, portion of um, the load calculations. All right, the next video I'm going to talk about is going to be our dryer and then also uh, for our range and the range calculations okay so hope this made sense if you have any questions or comments um, down in the comment section below have a good one